Hi, and welcome to this Ontep Fundamentals training. My name is Peter, and I will be your instructor for this course. This training really starts off as a fundamentals, so it has no prerequisites. I'm going to take it from scratch. You need no knowledge of NetApp, and you need no knowledge of storage protocols. The only thing that you should be familiar with is the functionality of an IP address, a disk drive, and an operating system. That's it. Now, it's never my intention to insult your knowledge or uh, anything of the kind in any way, but I just want to make sure that you will benefit from this training, even if you have no NetApp experience at all. The training is constructed as follows. We'll do a bit of theory, and we'll be using slides to do that. Uh, then there will be a demo or a lab or whatever you want to call it, in which we actually do what we have talked about. So, by the end of this training, you should have a solid basis for administering a NetApp on tap environment no matter what the scale. At the end of each module, there will be a summary and most often a quiz with some questions. I've tried to make presentations of 10 minutes, but sometimes they are a little bit longer or a bit shorter, but the average length is 10 minutes. It would be very handy if you'd have your own lab environment. If you don't, then I will guide you in setting one up. So we'll first set up a single node cluster, uh, which we will later scale out to a two node cluster. If at any time during the training you have a question or remark, you can always post me, and I will usually answer within 24 hours, if required. Also, suggestions that would improve this training are very welcome. After this introductory talk, we will have a look at the contents. But first off, it is going to be a training with two different levels. In level 1, we will have a look at the basics uh, of the most important features. So that would be disk management, volumes, and uh, networking. Then the same topics and more will be explored further in level two. So you could be a real novice at the start of this training, but by the end you will be a junior administrator to the least. Also, I have added the presentation texts of each module to the resource section. These texts are downloadable as PDF files. So let's first have a closer look at the topics. In Module 1, we will set up a lab environment with a single node cluster. So I will guide you in the deployment of the OMTAP simulator. Then we'll have a look at the disadvantages of clients having their data on local drives, and why storage arrays are a better alternative. Then we'll have a look at what OMTAP really is, and we'll run our first commands. In the module about disks and aggregates, we will be assigning disks, and we will talk about aggregates and create one. After that, we'll talk about volumes and how to basically manage them. Then we'll have a look at networking by creating logical interfaces for client access. After that, we will have finished level 1 and we will then add a second node to the cluster. We'll have a closer look at the different shells that NetApp offers and the modes of the cluster shell. There's a number of protocols that clients can use to store their data. And we think of NFS, uh, SIFS or SMB, uh, fiber channel, fiber channel over Ethernet, and iSCSI. Aggregates, volumes, and networking will be visited for a second time, but now more advanced. And after we are up to speed, we will configure three protocols at the cluster side as well as at the client side. And the last module is on Waffle and Snapshots. Waffle is the file system that is used in ONTAP, and snapshots are a very famous and important technique that can be used to restore files or to create backups from. So my suggestion is that we start.